Hallelujah. Please be seated. Emmanuel, and peace be with you. I don't like your spirit this morning. Peace be with you. Well, did you quarrel with somebody before coming to church? I don't like that. Tell him or her, you are special. God loves you. Now tell yourself today, I am special. God loves you. Yes, lest I forget, God has brought us into a new month, and we must thank him. So all May bonds, please stand for happy birthday. The choir will lead us, as usual, to sing happy birthday, all May born Father, into our hands we commit all by your grace, mercy, born in May. Standing before you again, and we ask you again, Lord, to reveal yourself to them in a special way. All the gifts you've blessed them with, let them know and use it for your glory and be blessed. May they, as they live, show forth your power and glory. Because your spirit is with them. We ask the Lord to lead them and give them the heart of faith and obedience to follow you. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and love of Jesus, all may born. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God for an added year. We thank God for that. I'm very happy. I like today's text. Because it's about your life. The theme is chosen by Christ to serve. And I'll base it on John's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 16. John 15, verse 16. John 1, 5. Verse 1 6. Jesus said to his disciples, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you. We'll come to that. Choose. Life involves a lot of choices. You are who you are right now because of a lot of choices you made. So be careful about what you choose because it will affect you. And not only you, positively or negatively, but it will affect others. Mind what you choose. I want to start with that before we listen to Jesus especially. But what does it mean to choose? This morning, we all chose something. All of us. At least, you chose the dress you are wearing. All of us chose the dress we are wearing. Maybe... It's children's service. Our kids there, they didn't choose. But for us adults, we chose. What does it mean? 
I, my favorite dictionary is the Merriam Webster Dictionary. That's my favorite dictionary. So I like quoting from that. It says, to choose is to select freely and after consideration. Very serious. To select freely, freely, underline, freely and after consideration. Meaning, after thinking seriously about it. Why? Because to choose something has consequences. To choose something goes with responsibility. When you are a baby, you are free. You don't have any responsibility. You are just there. You cry. And then whoever takes care of you rushes. Whatever you do, the, your, your caregiver has to interpret your body language and provide. You don't choose. But as you grow, that responsibility to choose becomes your burden. So choosing is a decision. If you say, I want this, it is your decision. And if it is your decision, then the responsibilities that go with it, you have to bear it. Some of us fear to take responsibility. We are ever ready to blame others for whatever is happening in our life. Please, at a point in time, learn to choose for yourself. It's a sign of maturity. It's a sign that you are growing. If you are there and you are always being told what to do, I beg to tell you that you are not growing. You don't want to take responsibility. You want others to take responsibility. So that when there's a problem, ah, he did it. She did it. I didn't do it. Responsibility. It is your life. And you must learn to take responsibility. What you eat. What you wear. Why have I started with that? I've been reading a nice catchy phrase. You are what you eat. So my, it's not been talking about it. Mind what you eat. It is your choice. But I'm reminding you that it goes with responsibility. Mind what you wear. Because what you wear is a message about who you are. People will judge you by your appearance. So it's a choice. What do you wear? Who are your friends? It is your choice. Who do you marry? It is your choice. You see, let me come back to the young ones. When they start dating and courting, they will not come to a suffer for technical advice. I know I've been seeing it from church to church. They won't come for technical advice. They think they are smart. They think what they see, you are too old to see. Sir, I've been there before. And then after they have finished all their negotiations, love negotiations, then they come to a suffer. We want to marry. Eh. I cannot stop you because you say you are in love. Then we'll take you through counseling. But you have made up your mind already. So please come and be given technical advice. Because your marriage is your choice. And it goes with heavy responsibility. So let us talk to you before you jump. Jump, come. Don't be shy. I love my children for one thing. When people started chasing them, I have two daughters. When people started chasing them, they didn't fear me at all. They brought them to the house straight. Daddy, this is my friend. 
I couldn't do anything because they have decided. The best I could do is to give them what? Technical advice. And then when you do your own thing, they're going to and then you hop into marriage, jump into marriage, dive into marriage. And you begin to have problems, then you come back to your sorrow. Your sorrow, you see, he's been beating me. Oh, he'll beat you because you didn't see the signs. He will beat you. He will beat you. And to the men, she will not cook for you because you were taking her to Kempinski. You were taking her to Lancaster. You were taking her to Holiday Inn. I've been going there, so I know everything there. This afternoon, if you want to celebrate yourself, go to Moving Peak. That's my favorite spot. There's live band there. You know that? There's fufu. There's everything. And there's live band. Or if it's too far for you, you go to Alisa. Yes. But uh, don't always take your girlfriend there. Because one day, she'll tell you, but when you were chasing me, you were taking me to, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, worry. there's budget. Courtship is different from marriage. Oh, marriage is serious matter. That's why I said, come for technical advice. Who are you choosing as your partner? Today, I want you to take a hard look at your life again. Even the subjects you choose at school, how far can you go with it? When you ask someone, oh, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a doctor, I want to be this, I want to be that. Meanwhile, you want to be an engineer, but your mathematics is questionable. It is suspect. So you can never go far with that. You must take a hard look at yourself. You should know your weaknesses and your strengths. You should know it. So you can make a proper choice. My children, I paid their school fees but I never chose their subjects for them when all of them went to university. All of them. I never chose their subjects for them. They decided because they are old enough. And some of our parents, your children are grown up and you still want to decide for them. Leave them alone. That your child is not the little girl, a little boy, you were sending all over the place. She is now old enough to tell you, Mommy, give me some time. Or Daddy, give me some time. And then, eh, eh, I paid your school fees. I, 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 I kept you nine months. Keep quiet. Keep, 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 keep quiet. There's a time we should allow our children to choose. But we must give them what? Technical advice. Based on experience. Some parents still are living in Gold Coast era. Those days, you'll be there. And then your father will say, this is your wife, full stop. Today, if you try, my mother tried it. I told her something nice. And she kept quoting me. Uh, I said, mama, this time, I will choose. David did this. He said, I'm a mama's boy. Let me tell you. Me your mama back. Me your dada back. That's why I can't cook. Because mommy do everything for me. The only thing I can cook is I'll, I'll soak gari and chito and sardine. Or tea. I don't even remember when I cook egg. Egg. If you ask me to cook egg for you, you have a problem. So I was always mommy's boy, mommy, 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 mommy. And then when I decided to marry, she also wanted to choose her friend's daughters. I said, mama, this time I will choose my wife. And she had to keep quiet. So please, parents, as our children grow, we must stop the Adolf Hitler dictatorship. They are also growing. And these days, our children are smart. What they read on social media, you cry, Facebook cry, you are not there. Instagram, you're not there. You don't know what is going on. So keep quiet and listen to them. But back to the young ones, also take 
technical point. Now Jesus, he used the same way. I chose you. It is a very important word. I said it means selecting freely and after consideration. Consideration is what? Thinking seriously about what you are selecting. Be careful. Jesus selected his disciples. They didn't walk to him. He went to the beach. Simon, Andrew, James, John, Judas, Matthew, Bartholomew, Judas there too, James there too, John. He just called them. He called them. Matthew was in the office. Start calling I said, follow me. So he had authority. Jesus has the right to choose. Just as you have the right to choose. He can choose anybody to do what he wants him to do. At times, we don't understand why some people are being blessed. It is God who chooses. And so we shouldn't be complaining. When we see some people going up, 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 don't complain. It is God who is, it is God's prerogative to choose anybody. He can choose anybody. When I was in Tamale, there was a church. Who started the church? That person was a drunkard. And the Holy Spirit arrested him. When he became a Christian, he started a church. So don't go about when God calls some people amongst us or elsewhere. Oh, I know him. He was this. She was that. No, it is God who chooses. And you cannot tell God what to do. God can choose to bless anybody. There are some people, they don't, they don't even go to church. As we, I'm preaching to you now, you are sitting here. Some people are eating omutuo and Ghana soup somewhere. They are not here. But the money they have, you don't have. You are still praying and fasting for that money. They have it. Then you are complaining. Today, I'm reminding you that we are who we are by the grace of God. He chooses. He can choose anybody. He can choose you. He can choose me. He can choose anybody. Two weeks ago, I was chosen. Hallelujah. It was not a joke. I'm telling you, today I'm happy. It was not a joke. Let me tell you a little bit of what happened in my choice. I was sitting there. Round one, my name came up. Number one. And then number two came. And number three came. And I said, hey, I know politics. I know politics. I said, hey. If I calculate the votes of number two and number three, if number three decides that he will contest again and his supporters go and join number two, I'm in trouble. Then, meanwhile, I was leading. Then the electoral commissioner came and stood and said, We will go for round two. Hey, everything and football. Everybody knows I am leading. But if number two and number three, they come together, I will be in serious trouble. Then by the grace of God, I was just sitting quietly. And then they said, I am the chosen. Hallelujah. Before I became free, I was sweating. I was begging God, God, whatever you say, I will agree. But I wanted to win, of course. And he knows my heart. 
And then when I won, I said, yeah, I am special. I have been chosen. My dear friends, God can also choose you. I didn't become a sopho because I want to be chairperson. I became a sopho because I want to be a sopho. And I vow that wherever I am taken, I will go. And today, they are telling me, you have been chosen. You will also be chosen one day somewhere. But remember what Jesus said. You did not choose me, but I chose you to bear fruit. So you see, being chosen goes with a responsibility. You don't just have to celebrate. Now when I'm walking, yes, I am chairperson elect. In fact, I ordered my children the house that now they should call me bishop. Of course, that's a bishop's appointment. I said, no, they should not be da, 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 da. No, no, call me bishop. But I am mindful of the fact that it goes with a heavy responsibility. So God just does not choose us just to be celebrating. But he gives us work. And himself, Jesus, he has told us how to do the work. Listen to, um, let me read it. What Jesus himself said about service in, in Matthew 20 verse 28. He said, the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. What does he mean? He means his service is about sacrifice. God calls us to give our best. You shall love the Lord your God with all your strength, soul, mind. That is what everything you have is about sacrifice. Today, Friday born, I'm Friday born. It's our turn for many harvests. Please, you know how God has blessed you. Learn to sacrifice. Give something precious. It's not how big it is. Like Jesus told, talked about the uh, widow who gave the might. It's what you are giving precious. That's a sacrifice. When you don't give something that is precious, you have not sacrificed. Jesus went as far as giving his life. What is more precious to you than your own life? He did that. He has shown us the pattern of how to serve. And then he also said in Matthew 16, 24, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. So following Jesus, it's not about talking about yourself, talking about what God has done and is doing and will do for you. It's about letting others know that there's a God, that we must believe and worship. That is what your life is about. Your life is not about showing off. How, no. Tell them. Let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. It's about giving our best to the Lord. Because he gave his best for us. How are you reciprocating the love of Jesus? You see, relationship, love is about give and take. Give and take. You see, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, and you are always giving, 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 and he or she is always taking, 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 stop it. That's the first technical advice. It must be balanced. It's give and take. I give, you give. I take, you take. Run away from sad people. I said, don't marry a selfish person. You will regret. In the same way, our relationship with God is give and take. When he blesses us, we also give something to show. It's what? 
reciprocity. If you don't see reciprocity in your, in your romantic relationship, stop it. Don't tell me, hey, Papa, if I stop and nobody comes again, somebody will come. Because you don't believe. You don't believe that he can do exceedingly abundantly above what you are. That is your problem. Believe that he will do it and he can do it in abundance. And stop hurting yourself because you are afraid. So be called to serve sacrificially. Bearing fruits about what? Growth. A fruit just doesn't come. It goes through a process. It's a sign of growth. He said, I send you and appoint you to bear fruit. Are you growing? How are you growing? The fruit of the spirit is there. The second one is love. Where is your love? This morning, the reading is about love. He said, I command you. Love is a commandment. It's not just a feeling. It is a commandment. You must show love. You must show compassion. You must show empathy. Or else you are not a Christian. I don't believe you. I don't believe you if you don't show kindness, compassion. I don't believe you. You are a liar. You are a liar. We must grow. Our faith must grow. Once the disciples told Jesus, increase our faith. At first, you are a bit afraid of certain things. But keep praying, Lord, increase my faith. It must grow. Your love must grow. Your faith must grow. Your joy, you must see joy. It must grow. Bearing fruit is a sign of growth. Every fruit has a name. Fruits have identity. Mango is there. Orange, there. It has a name. And not just a name, it has characteristics. And Jesus said, by their fruit, ye shall do what? Know them. Matthew 7, 16. Your character is your name. Some people are called Rose. But do they show love? If you are here, you are Rose, and your husband is complaining about you, change your name to Tones. Tones. Because you see, if you see the rose, the petals, underneath is what? Tons. So jump from petals to tons because and you are called comfort. And you don't comfort anybody. You are always insulting people. How can you be called comfort? When you can't comfort. And then you are called what? Patience. And you are always quarreling. Go and change your name. Every fruit has an identity. Every fruit is visible. Jesus says, go and bear fruit. It just doesn't happen. Listen to what Jesus said. Whatever, is still in John 15 verse 16. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. May God give you what you need. And when you are choosing, pray to God to help you to choose. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's stand. To sing Paul 5.1. A charge to keep I have. Paul 5.1. And then we say a short prayer, then we continue. Paul 5.1. A charge to keep I have. We are singing the first and the second, and then we pray shortly. Continue in the service. You are called to serve sacrificially. Give your best to the Lord because He's giving His best and always gives His best to you. Choose and choose after careful thinking.
I want you to thank Jesus for choosing you, for calling you to come and see power and glory of God. Coming to church, it is the Lord who has called you and chosen you. Especially to come and dine and wine with him at this holy table. If you know how the devil is destroying people's lives, and you have been protected. On the cross, Jesus has destroyed the power of Satan over you. You will serve the Lord. You will give your best to the Lord. Your time, your talents, your everything. It is those who don't really know what Jesus has done for them. He has made them the children of God. Empower them with the Holy Spirit and, and, and promise us heaven. If you know the value of this, you will not play with serving the Lord. Some of us come to church and we sit and stand outside and chat and chat and chat as if nothing's happening. I know you don't know the Lord. Sunday, when you are given the opportunity to come and serve the Lord, be happy. Thank Jesus. That you come to hear the wonderful word of God explained to you so that you know how to choose in life. What you choose affects you. Remember that. What you choose is a responsibility, your responsibility. Choose God. Joshua said, Choose this day whom you serve. But I and my heart will serve the Lord. Who have you chosen? Have you chosen to lead yourself or chosen to follow Jesus? It's a choice. Think about it. Lord, we thank you once again for bringing us together to celebrate fellowship and to worship you as your people. What you told your disciples of old, I have chosen you, you didn't choose me. You have authority over us to tell us what to do and give us humility to serve you so that those who don't know God through our lives, through the fruits we bear, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. May your spirit help us bear fruit. So our church will grow in numbers and grow spiritually and have sweet fellowship. So that when anybody comes to worship with us, he says, yes, these are truly the people of God. They are bearing fruit of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer and may our cry come unto thee. Amen. In whom do you believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty. Make our heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence I come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated.